is sin. We often hear Christians use such phrases as, we are all sinners. Why is that? Are we sinners even if we've never committed the crime? The fact that we are not a sinner only applies to the laws of our human world. So we'll tell you what sins we humans committed and why Christians called us sinners. In the beginning, there was a human being. His name was Adam. He was the first man God created and lived very happily with God. But this man was unfortunately tempted by Satan, and he broke God's law and ate the forbidden fruit. It was because of his desire to be like God, he, as a human, eventually crossed the line that he should not cross. Like this, the relationship between man and God was broken. So we can say those who are far from God live with sin. Therefore, sin entered the world through one man and spread to all mankind. Humans were evil, selfish, and arrogant. We humans tried to be like God and were full of desire, and we became people who took other people's lives for themselves. Those hearts were so full of evil. But it was hard for God to bear to see people full of sin, so he decided to get rid of all human beings in the world. However, there was a man God loved was righteous and loved God. So God let him survive the great flood and the history of all mankind is carried on by his descendants. Not long after, God taught his descendants how to stay away from sin and be forgiven. Only by the shedding of blood can our sins be forgiven and to do so someone had to die. That is why God requires blood sacrifices. So the animal was sacrificed with blood. There was one most important thing about this sacrifice though. The animal to be sacrificed always had to be pure and spotless. So people always prepared to sacrifice clean and good quality animals to God. Unfortunately, this was not enough. People's sins caused them to continue to sin. Something or someone bigger was needed and should be perfectly clean and spotless. But there was no one who would give his life for others. To be free from sin, there should be no flaws, but there was no such person. So Jesus came to this earth, died as a sacrifice for our sins. God sent his only son to be the perfect blood sacrifice that would pay the debt of sin eternally for all of us. There is no one besides Jesus that hasn't sinned. For that reason, he also was the only one who could be the spotless substitute for our sins. And he sacrificed his life and died on the cross for the sins of all mankind. His sacrifice was so beautiful and noble. Through his sacrifice, we all humans are freed from the bondage of eternal sin.